Andrea Sachai, Wikipedia article audio. Andrea Sachai was an Italian painter of high Baroque classicism, active in Rome. A generation of artists who shared his style of art include the painters Nicolas Poussa and Giovanni Battista Passeri, the sculptors Alessandro Algardi and François Ducas Noe, and the contemporary biographer Giovanni Bellori. Sachai was born in Rome. His father, Benedetto, was an undistinguished painter. According to the biographer Giovanni Pietro Bellori, Andrea initially entered the studio of Cavalier d'Arpino. These are Bellori's words. Early training. Mature style. Hence Benedetto, his father, as soon as he saw that he was being outstripped by his son in his childhood, no longer having the courage to educate him, wisely thought to provide him with a better master and recommended him to Cavalier Giuseppe di Arpino, who gladly took him into his school, perceiving him to be more attentive and bent on progress than any other youth. Sachai later entered Francesco Albany's workshop and spent most of his time in Rome where he eventually died. Much of his early career was helped by the regular patronage by Cardinal Antonio Barberini, who commissioned art for the Capuchin Church in Rome and the Palazzo Barberini. A contemporary rival of Pietro de Cortona, Sachai studied the paintings of Raphael and the influence of Raphael is apparent in a number of his works, particularly with reference to the use of few figures and their expressions. He reputedly traveled to Venice and Parma and studied the works of Correggio. Two of his major works on canvas are altarpieces now displayed in the Pinacoteca Vaticana, the painting gallery in the Vatican. As a young man, Sacchi had worked under Cortona at the Villa Sacchetti at Castel Fusano. But in a set of public debates at the Accademia di San Luca, the Guild for Artists in Rome, he strongly criticized Cortona's exuberance. The debate is significant because it indicates how two of the leading proponents of the prevailing styles in painting, now called Classical and Baroque, discussed the differences between their work. Controversy with Pietro de Cortona In particular, Sachai advocated that since a unique, individual expression, gesture and movement needed to be assigned to each figure in a composition, so a painting should only have a few figures. In a crowded composition, the figures would be deprived of individuality, and thus cloud the particular meaning of the piece. In some ways this was a reaction against the zealous excess of crowds in paintings by artists such as Zuccari in the previous generation, and by Cortona among his contemporaries. Simplicity and unity were essential to Sachai who, drawing an analogy to poetry, likened painting to tragedy. In his counter-argument, Cortona made the case that large paintings with lots of figures were like an epic which could develop multiple sub-themes. But for Sachai, the incrustation of a painting with excess decorative details, including melees of crowds, would represent something akin to wallpaper art rather than focused narrative. Among the partisans of Sachai's argument for simplicity and focus were his friends, the sculptor Algardi and painter Poussa. The controversy was however less pitched than some might suggest. Sachai and Albany, among others, shared dissatisfaction with the artistic depiction of low or genre subjects and themes, such as those preferred by the Bamboxianti and even the Caravagisti. They felt that high art should focus on exalted themes biblical, mythological, or from classical ancient history. Main Works Sachai, who worked almost always in Rome, left few pictures visible in private galleries. He had a flourishing school, 
Carlo Murata was a younger collaborator or pupil. In Murata's large studio, Sachai's preference for a grand manner style would find preeminence among Roman circles for decades to follow. But many others worked under him or his influence, including Francesco Fiorelli, Luigi Garzi, Francesco Lori, Andrea Camasei, and Jason Togimignani. Sachai's own illegitimate son Giuseppe, died young after high hopes for his future. Sachai died at Natuno in 1661. This fresco by Sachai in the Palazzo Barberini in Rome is considered his masterpiece. It depicts divine wisdom. The work was inspired by Raphael's Parnassus in the Raphael's rooms in the Vatican Palace. Allegory of Divine Wisdom at the Palazzo Barberini According to the American art historian Joseph Connors, Saint Gregory and the Miracle of the Corporal Urban 8's personal emblem is the rising sun visitor to the palace would have seen the sun of divine wisdom and the constellation of the lion in Sachai's fresco, the eye take in the fresco but also to penetrate beyond to the chapel next door. From the right point of view the sun of divine wisdom looks as though it is hovering over the dome of the chapel, radiating downward its beneficent light. Scott's astrological interpretation of, is convincing because it is also a political interpretation. Because of the favorable conjunction of the stars at two key moments, Urban 8's birth and election, the Barberini were born and elected to rule. Campanella could have told the Pope that when he was elected the Sun had entered into the Great Conjunction with Jupiter. Urban VIII's nephew Taddeo Barberini, the patron of this wing of the palace and the relative on whom the family pinned its hopes for offspring and immortality, had a natal chart similar to his uncle's, and by coincidence so did the child born to him during his residence in the palace. The little chapel adjacent to Sachai's fresco was designed for the baptism of such children, and its frescoes carried all the usual talismans of fertility. The stars could be expected to look favorably on a family born and elected to rule down the generations. Vision of St. Romwald Also known as the Miracle of St. Gregory the Great this painting was executed in 1625-57. It is now in the Pinacoteca Vaticana. The canvas portrays the legend that the Empress Constantia had begged Pope Gregory I to give her relics of the body of Saints Peter and Paul, but the Pope, not daring to disturb the remains of these saints, sent her a fragment of the linen which had enveloped the remains of St. John the Evangelist. Constantia rejected this gift from the Pope as insufficient. Then Gregory, to prove the power of relics to work miracles, placed the cloth on the altar, and, after praying, pierced it with a knife, and blood flowed from it as from a living body. In 1771, a mosaic copy of this painting was made for the Basilica of St. Peter's. This painting echoes positions stated in the canons of the Council of Trent, wherein relics had an important role in miracles, the Pope served as the final interpreter of sanctity, and finally it was a metaphor of the validity of the Eucharist as the true body of Christ. Other Works Completed in 1631, this painting in the Pinacoteca Vaticana recalls an episode in the life of the early Benedictine monk, St. Romwald, of the Camaldolese order, who is said to have dreamt that members of his order wearing white ascended into heaven. The serenity and gravity of the monks, arrayed as in philosophic discourse, is characteristic of Sachai. Other leading examples of Sachai's work are the death of St. Anne, in San Carlo ai Catinari, Rome, St. Andrew, in the Quirinal Palace, 
St. Joseph, at Caponile Case, and the Three Marys, at Palazzo Barberini, Rome. Other altarpieces by Sachai are in Perugia, Foligno, and Camerino.